Hello, in this video we're going to graph a linear demand curve, or several of them. Here's one example of a linear demand curve. Q, the quantity demanded, equals 10 minus P, the price. What I like to do is to find first where P equals 0. If P equals 0, Q equals 10 minus P, and P is 0, Q equals 10. Okay, so this right here is going to be one coordinate on the demand curve. Let's draw the demand curve. We've got quantity demanded on the horizontal axis, price on the vertical axis. So, and here's the origin, 0. So if P is 0, Q is 10, that's going to be here somewhere. This is one point on the demand curve. Let's find the other point. Let's find where the demand curve touches the price axis, the vertical axis. To do that, we're going to let Q equal 0. So plugging 0 into our demand equation and solving for P, moving P over to the other side, P equals 10. So when Q is 0, P is 10, it's going to be a point over here. Connecting the dots, we have our linear demand curve. Let's do some more examples. This linear demand curve is given by Q equals 200 minus 1 half P, the price. We're going to do the same thing. Let's first let P equal 0. If P equals 0, Q equals 200. So we got our first coordinate on this demand curve. P is 0, Q is 200, so this is where Q is 200, right about here. That's one point on the demand curve. Let's get the vertical intercept. To get the vertical intercept, we're going to set Q equal to 0. Plug, plug that into our demand equation. and solve for the price. Price equals 400. So in this step here I just multiplied both sides through by 2. Oops, 2. So that cancels and you just get 400. So when Q is 0, P is 400. Here's 0 for Q, here's 400 for P. Connecting the dots, we have another demand curve. Let's do another example. Say Q equals 75 minus 15P. Let's graph this equation. Starting with P equals 0, Q equals 75. So here's where Q is 75 and P is 0. And now let's let Q equal 0. Plugging Q into our demand equation. Solving for P. P equals 5 or $5. So when P is 5, Q is 0. Finding that point somewhere over here, connecting the dots, we've graphed another demand equation. And one final example. Let's say you're given an inverse demand equation where P equals 40 minus 2Q. Still the same idea. Let's first find where P equals 0. So plugging 0 in for P. Solving for Q. Q 
equals 20. So there's really nothing more inherently difficult about graphing inverse demand equations. It's still the same setup. So here's where Q is 20 and P is 0. Now let's find where Q equals, uh, what happens when Q is 0. Plugging 0 into our inverse demand. We see that price equals $40. So when Q is 0, P is 40. That's going to be up here somewhere. We connect the dots and we have another linear demand curve. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.